Are you conscious about nutrition? Then Maliban Vitagen is the best nutritional supplement for you with no added sucrose and a low glycemic index. Hi, I'm Darshi Kirti Sena of Buddhi Batiks. Uh, I was born into Buddhi Batiks. What I mean by that is my parents started Buddhi Batiks in 1970 and uh, they already had the company by the time I was born. In fact, it's 50 years for Buddhi Batiks this year. So as a kid, I would always go there every day and uh, play with the craft women and um, you know, during their lunch break, we would have lunch together and uh, it was a lot of fun growing up uh, back in Koswadia at Buddhi Batiks. By being at the uh, backyard of Buddhi Batiks also, um, I used to see a lot of fabric and a lot of beautiful clothes because we used to have a a uh, graduate from uh, Central St. Martins, London, uh, working with us as a fashion designer and amazing textile designers. So um, at that time, Buddhi Batik was thriving. So I saw some beautiful things, very innovative clothes and fabrics coming out of it. So I think that really inspired me. Uh, my initial inspiration was that. Um, so from junior school, um, to senior school throughout, I, I knew I wanted to be uh, working in fabric or fashion. So I uh, went on to uh, studying, doing my degree in uh, fashion and textile design. And um, later on, I did a postgraduate diploma at London College of Fashion in um, um, teaching art and design. So yeah, that's where I am right now, um, working in Buddhi Batiks as the current CEO and Head of Design. Okay, so uh, as a woman or as a person, um, I would say, um, so when I came into uh, the Batiks, I was much younger and uh, it was like a craft industry, nobody really took any notice of at that time. Um, some kid trying to just play around with the Batiks it wasn't a serious business, it wasn't a money-making business anybody took notice of. So that was a big challenge to get people to pay attention to. Um, the other one was labor. Labor is still is and that time more off was a problem because um, it's harder to do batik, unlike working in the apparel industry, which was booming at the time I took over both the batiks. Um, so apparel industry, everybody wanted to move on to apparel but um, craft batik was harder, it's intricate, there's a, it's messy, not, um, you know, you get dye and wax on you and you're working uh, next to a, a, a cooker with uh, hot wax. So it, it's not the most comfortable thing to be doing unless you have a passion for art or craft. So labor was a big issue because of that. And, um, and also anybody to uh, invest in like um, do a collaboration or anything was hard for people uh, to get attention of anybody. Um, I must mention at this point Sarin the Unambua who uh, used to be the CEO at, of, uh, at MAS Linear Aqua. Um, he gave me the opportunity, he, he, he always had a passion for local um, uh, craft I suppose, art. Uh, he gave me the opportunity to work with his team, uh, creating a batik uh, swimsuit uh, for Buddhi Batiks. Because I think I was more of a pain or a hindrance to the whole team uh, when they are creating thousands and thousands of, hundred thousands of uh, swimsuits. Especially back in the day, it was um, when the industry was booming. Um, but he gave the time for to develop a craft uh, local you know local talent or rather local designer and um, that was a big turning point for us because um, it really proved that collaborating uh, craft industry and the high-tech apparel industry that we have could be a real success story so throughout we experimented in various products that we can do something new because I was always inspired by my parents, um, how they always used to do something new. Always thought out of the box, 
and the time that they were doing batik it was um, very cool they used to do batik bikinis in woven fabric and export to Mauritius and Seychelles which was very cool actually um, physical well-being uh, unlike my husband who's a gym buff he has he made a gym at home after the kid because uh, so that we both could go to the gym um, I prefer a little bit of running uh, in the early mornings um, a little bit of that should probably do more I've been a vegetarian for uh, for about 28 years or so and been a vegan for over two years the immediate future plan for Buddha Batik series how to uh, recycle or uh, release the water uh, the dye to the environment um, recycling plant for water this we're looking at as a, a group in uh, the village there are about 20 uh, batik entrepreneurs in my village of Koswadi now and we uh, got together and we started discussing the issues we have and meanwhile the uh, the president so kindly invited us to discuss about the issues that we have in the industry as well. Very grateful for him for that because that is the first time anybody paid any attention to a small industry like this. Uh, so we are trying to set up a plant together. Uh, that is the immediate future plan. Um, then uh, also the other thing is to get back into our export business to India and Maldives because after Corona everything collapsed and that is uh, something that we are looking at uh, and grow our bridal business. So those are like the immediate future plans for Buddhibatics and um, I am part of Buddhibatics so I think that goes with me as well. <laughs> so yeah. So the experience or the advice I want to share with other women is um, work hard to get to your goal don't give up be fearless um, at the end if you don't believe in yourself nobody else is gonna buy into your dream so keep your goal and you can work on different ways to get there um, just go forth and conquer don't give up <laughs>